Welcome back. Do you ever hit a creative block where you just don't know what to do, but you want to scrapbook? Well, today we're talking about 10 ways to kickstart your creativity. I'm Emily, and you've found Emily's Paper Caper, where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting pages done. If you're new here, please consider subscribing hit the subscribe button and bell icon now. So I'll share 10 ways that I get into the groove of scrapbooking when I have absolutely no idea what kind of scrapbook page I wanna do. I don't worry about it. Instead, I do something like these 10 things I'm gonna share with you. These things will relax your mind and get you doing something creative that doesn't necessarily have to be creating a scrapbook page. My first idea to kickstart my creativity is to do some coloring. I have some inexpensive coloring books. You can even find some of these at the dollar store. And there are also some scrapbook papers that you can color. When you're not sure what you wanna create next, get some pens and pencils and markers out and start coloring. Another way to get your creative juices flowing is to dig into your scrap bin and just start punching. I love this balloon punch and I like to use balloons on birthday cards and birthday scrapbook layouts. So I dug some scraps out of my scrap bin and I will just punch and have some fun using these scraps up until I feel like I am ready to scrapbook. The third thing is to try something new, something creative, but totally unrelated to scrapbooking. As an example, how about origami? You have lots of paper scraps in your scrap bin, cut one into a square, search on YouTube for an origami pattern that you wanna make, and you will be surprised how relaxing this is. It's a little bit of a creative challenge. You learn something new and you relax your brain. Not worrying about my scrapbook page right now. I'm just thinking about creating a paper crane. Number four, get out some pens and markers and practice your lettering. You can letter something that you know you will have as a page title later, or just have fun. Don't worry about it. You can even just write the ABCs. And this is a fun, creative thing you can do, again, with your paper scraps, supplies on hand. Doesn't need to be perfect in any way, but when you practice your hand lettering and doodling, you start to gain some confidence and your mind starts to relax. And then you will find that your scrapbooking ideas will come to you much easier if you just let those these things flow freely onto the page. One of my New Year's resolutions is to doodle more on my scrapbook pages. So practicing like this is a good way to get ready for doing this type of thing on my page backgrounds. Idea number five, journal first. If you're not sure what you want to 
make your scrapbook page look like. Get out some journaling spots and do the journaling first. For example, I know I have a stack of pictures from a trip to Jamaica in 2017, so I can just make a journal spot for one of those pages. Idea number six. You will always need photo mats for your scrapbook pages. So if you're really stumped and not feeling creative, you can still do something related to scrapbooking that is very productive. Until your creative juices come back, why not cut some photo mats? I will link up into the card a video about this where I give you all the directions you need to cut your own photo mats. Idea seven, turn to sketches for inspiration. I have this sketchbook, it has lots of great ideas. Pinterest is another great source for sketch ideas. And I'm also a fan of the Let's Get Sketchy blog. I will link to information about this book as well as a link to the Let's Get Sketchy blog down in the description of this video. You can also sketch your own ideas. Just get a scrap piece of paper and start sketching out ideas for base pages. Here is an example of some recent sketches I did, and I will link up into the card with the base pages that I created with these sketches. Idea number eight, organize something. Don't try to organize your entire stash, but pick something that you need to organize that would be helpful and something you can achieve in a few minutes. You'll have a real sense of satisfaction and things will be just a little more organized and ready for you to use. Here I have chosen my collection of rhinestones and enamel dots and I'm putting them in an empty school box so that they will be next to my scrap area. I can just pull that box and find exactly what I need to embellish a card or a page. This only takes a few minutes, and now everything is in one place and easy to find. Idea number nine, get out an art journal and just have some fun. You can doodle, you can do mixed media, you can use stencils and sprays, stickers, all kinds of fun things you can do in an art journal that are very relaxing and freeing. And there are no rules when it comes to an art journal. For example, here's a page I colored in a coloring book, cut that out and then glued it to the page and added doodling to that page. So you can combine different interests and techniques in your art journal. Last but not least, you can organize your photos. It is always a good use of time to collect your photos and then organize them for your different pages. When I'm doing this, I like to get out some post-it notes, make notes on the post-its about the page title or the idea for the page, or even if it's just the date and the name of the event, this organizes the photos so that they're ready to pick up and create pages with. How do you jumpstart your creativity? Leave a comment so that others that find this video will benefit from your ideas to jumpstart your creativity. Now that your creative juices are flowing, let's keep on scrapping our stash. Here's a link to a couple more videos. Let's keep on scrapping together.